For the diagram shows the movement of a car along a straight road starting from a fixed point O, okay, heading towards point A and B. Velocity of the car at point K okay, at T second after passing through the fixed point O is given by so this is our V. Given that the car is at point A when T is equal to 5, so here T is equal to 5 and rest for a while at point B. So this one, rest. What does it mean by rest? Resting means V is equal to 0. Okay, calculate. So A, the acceleration of the car at point B. So now we have V. So S, V, A. So here, uh, just remember from left to right, you are going uh, differentiation. So this one is ds over dt, this one is dv over dt and going other way around is integration of a, integration of v. You see here, this one, in, this one is s to v, differentiation of the previous one and this one is integration from the previous one. So now it wanted us to find acceleration. So what we have is v. V is equal to 3t square minus 16t minus 12, right? So a... So, A to the right is the differentiation of dv over dt. So, dv, when you differentiate 3t square, so 2, you bring forward and multiply with 3, you get 60. This one is minus 16. And negative 12 will become 0. So, this is your A. So, we see here acceleration at point B. And we know at point B, V is equal to 0. So, if we can get the time, then we can substitute t here so here 3t square minus 16t minus 12 is equal to 0 so here you can factorize this one is 3 times 1 this one is 6 times 2 so to get 16 this one is 18 minus 2 you get 16 right so this one is basically 3t plus 2 and here is t minus 6 Okay, because it's cross multiplied, so here never mind, 3, 1, and then 3 times 6 and 2, right? So you wanted to get negative, so this one must be negative 16 plus 2. So this one, t minus 6 and then 3t plus 2. Or you can just use your calculator to get 0. So here you get t is equal to negative 2 over 3, t is equal to 6. But we know that here, negative is not accepted. There is no negative for time, so t is equal to 6. So we know that this one at this point, t is equal to 6. So here acceleration at point B, when t is equal to 6, a is equal to 6. 6 minus 16, which is 36 minus 16, so we get 20. So here we see here this one, where is the meter per second square? This one is meter second negative 2. So this one is 20 meter second negative 2. be the distance in meter of AB. So we wanted to know the distance. We have to know what is our formula of displacement. Okay, now we have V, right? So V is equal to 3T square minus 16T minus 12. So here we see here this is V. So to get S, we have to do here integration of V. So S is equal to integration of V dt. So integration of 3T square minus 16T minus 12 dt. So when you integrate 3t square, so here you add the power with 1, you get 3, divide with power. This one, you just write a constant. This one is actually power of 1. You add 1 plus 1 is 2, divide with power. So 12, you get 12t, and then you have to plus c, because this one is indefinite integral. So here s is equal to t cubed minus 8t square, 16 divided by 2, minus 12t plus c. So, we see here, this one, the formula after passing through O. So, after passing through O, which means when T is equal to 0, S is equal to 0. Because O is the reference point. So, here, when S 0, this one is 0 minus 0. Because anything multiplied with 0 is 0. So, C is equal to 0. S is equal to T cubed minus 8T square minus 12T. So here distance of a b. So we know a is t is equal to five, b t is equal to six. So when t is equal to five, 
as 5 is equal to so you just substitute 5 q minus 8 5 square minus 12 5 So here we get negative 1, 3, 5 meter. So when S is equal to 6, so this one is 6 cubed minus 8, 6 square minus 12, 6. So here we get negative 1, 4, 4 meter. So here S6 minus F5 is equal to, so S6 is negative 1, 4, 4 minus negative 1, 3, 5. Right, so here we get negative 9, right, which is equal to 9 meter. So this one A to B is 9 meter.